सो गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू सकल विजय यूट्यूब चैनल एक्चुअली ड्यू टू दिस पवर प्रॉब्लम पवर टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम्स सो आई प्री फोन टू एक्चुअली नाइन थर्टी एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव वी फेस इड द इवन पवर प्रॉब्लम हियर सो नाउ आई एम एबल टू स्टार्ट द लाइव स्ट्रीमिंग सेशन ओके slowly they will join so yesterday what we have completed straight lines what is the question number straight lines <coughs> straight lines part 5 right <coughs> question number 43 question number 43 the area of the triangle the area of the triangle area of the triangle formed by formed by the axis the axis and the line cos h alpha minus sin h alpha of x plus cos h alpha माइनस साइन एच अल्फा ऑफ वाई इक्वल्स टू टू इन स्क्वायर यूनिट्स इन स्क्वायर यूनिट्स फर्स्ट ऑप्शन फोर सेकेंड ऑप्शन थ्री थर्ड ऑप्शन टू फोर्थ ऑप्शन वन so this is the question so that means area of the triangle formed by the axis and the line cos h alpha minus sin h alpha of x plus cos h alpha minus sin h alpha of y is equal to 2 so that means we need to find out the area of the triangle formed by the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 with coordinate axis so that is given by actually we have the formula for example c we have this condition the area of the triangle formed by the line formed by the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 with coordinate axis coordinate axis is delta is equal to we have c square by 2 mod ab square units this is the formula so that means now here we need to find out this is the a value small a this will be small b this will be the if you take this side this will be the c value substituting here the area of the triangle formed by the axis and by the line you will get it now so let us do it now so 43 solution 
comparing with the a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0, we get a equals to cos h alpha minus sin h alpha b equals to cos h alpha plus sin h alpha c equals to minus 2. You do one thing, first let us find out a b. A b is equal to actually see the a minus b into a plus b, a square minus b square we get cos h square alpha minus sin h square alpha. From hyperbolic functions cos h square alpha minus sin h square alpha is 1. Now actually formula delta is equal to c square by 2 mod a b. So, that means substituting this is minus 2 square upon 2 mod of a b is equal to 1 this equals to 4 by 2 this is equal to 2 square units. So, this is the uh, second option is the right option you check the solution. Okay. Okay, now let us uh, okay, let us move to forty fourth question. Forty four. Okay, forty four. Forty fourth problem. Right. If the lines, if the lines two x plus k y plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 are parallel or parallel. Then the distance distance between distance between parallel lines them is first option 1 by root 2 second option 1 by 2 root 2 third option 1 by root 3, fourth option is root 2. Okay. Lines 2 x plus k y plus 3 is equal to 0, x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 are parallel, then the distance between the parallel lines we need to find out. So, that means, first of all as they are parallel, first we need to find out k value. Parallel means one condition we have a 1 by a 2 equals to b 1 by b 2 and does not equal to c by 2, c 1 by c 2 does not required here now. a 1 means 2, a 2 means 1, b 1 is k and b 2 is 1. So, that is why here k value is equal to 2. Now, this equation becomes like this 
2x plus 2y plus c 3 equals to 0. This is one of the parallel lines. Second parallel line is x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. But let us make the x coefficient y coefficient equal. So, that means actually here we have 2 multiply the second parallel line with 2. So, that we get 2 x plus 2 y plus 2 equals to 0 say equation 2. Now, here a value becomes 2 whereas, b value becomes 2 c 1 becomes constant of the first parallel line 3 c 2 the constant of the second one is 2. Now, the distance between the parallel lines is given by the formula distance between distance between parallel lines is equals to c 2 minus c 1 modulus root over a square plus b square. This is the formula formula need to be remembered. So, c 2 c 2 is how much 2 minus 3 modulus root over a square a square means how much 2 square plus b square also 2 square. So, you get modulus of minus 1 is 1 by 4 plus 1 root 8 root 8 we can write 4 into 2 1 by 2 root 2 units this is the distance between the parallel lines. So, second option is the right option yes m 1 is equal slopes also equal you can write it the same thing you will get it a 1 by b 1 equals to a 2 by b 2 that only I have written a 1 by a 2 equals to b 1 by b 2 right. Forty five. The condition, the condition that the condition that the lines, the condition that the lines. a x plus h y plus g equals to 0 h x plus b y plus f equals to 0 g x plus f y plus c equals to 0 to be concurrent is to be concurrent to be concurrent is first option a plus h plus g equals to 0 Second option g plus f plus c equals to 0. Third option a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c s square is equal to 0. Fourth option is a b c equals to 2 f g h. Okay, this is the question. Right now, the condition that the lines a x plus h y plus g is equal to 0, h x plus b y plus f is equal to 0 g x plus f y plus c is equal to 0 to be concurrent is 
so that means that that means a handsome guy has best friend gone for cinema g f c a h g h b f g f c equals to 0 so now we need to find out expand by r1 a into debt of this one b c minus f square and minus h times deleting this row this column so deleting this row this column ch minus ch minus fg plus g multiplied by hf minus bg equals to 0 so abc minus af square minus ch square plus fgh plus fgh minus bg square equals to 0. So, we get abc plus fgh fgh 2 fgh minus af square minus bg square minus ch square equals to 0. So, that means third option is the right option third option is the right option. Sait Manchala you have not subscribed I think so, Nivirady you are also. So, Gopasri they are all actually Swati Singh our regular viewers. What is POI? right forty sixth problem forty sixth problem okay if three A plus two B plus 4 c equals to 0, then the lines, then the lines a x plus b y plus c equals to 0 passes, passes the fixed point the fixed point the fixed point first option 3 by 4 comma 1 by 2 second option minus 3 by 4 comma 1 by 2 third option 3 by 4 comma minus of fourth option is minus 3 by 4 comma minus of this is the question right so now 3a plus 2b plus 4c equals to 0 then the family of lines ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 passes through the fixed point so that means now you write down like this ax plus by plus c equals to 0 and the family of lines satisfying the condition here so we can write a into 3 plus b into 2 plus 4 c equals to 0. Comparing, comparing a, b and c coefficients, we get 
we get. So, what is the a coefficient here x? x by 3 equals to y by 2 equals to here c coefficient is 1, 1 by 4. Now, we get x by 3 equals to 1 by 4 y by 2 equals to 1 by 4. So, by cross multiplication x is equal to 3 by 4 y equals to 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 point is 3 by 4 comma 1 by 2. So, first option first option is the right option. Forty seven. Question number forty seven. Very good morning, all of you. Okay, right. No, not late. Not late. You are in correct time. Time only. I started. Uh, had done pre phone made. That's all. Don't worry. The lines p plus two q of x plus p minus 3 q of y equals to p minus q for different 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 values of p and q different values of p and q pass through pass through the fixed point the fixed point first option 3 by 2 comma 5 by 2 second option 2 by 5 comma 2 by 5 third option 3 by 5 comma 3 by 5 fourth option 2 by 5 comma 3 by 5 Right. So, now the lines p plus 2 q of x plus p minus 3 q of y equal to p minus q for different values of p and q. So, that means, first we need to express this equation in terms of L 1 plus lambda L 2 is equal to 0 then this fixed point is the point of intersection of L 1 is equal to 0 and L 2 is equal to 0. So, this is my plan. So, that means, first let us simplify this one open the brackets p x plus 2 q x plus p y minus 3 q y minus p plus q equals to 0. So, now p common if you take p common we get x plus y minus 1 plus q common you get like this 2 x minus 3 y plus 1 equals to 0. So, this can be written x plus y minus 1 if you divide by p this will be q by p plus lambda of 2 x minus 3 y plus 1 is equal to 0. Here lambda is equal to q by p. So, this is nothing but in this form 
so that means the fixed point is the point of intersection of these two lines that means x plus y equals to 1 say equation 1 this is 2x minus 3y equal to minus 1 say equation 2. Now multiply first equation with 2 2x plus 2y equals to 2 2x minus 3y equal to minus 1 subtract minus this plus this will be plus this cancel 5y equals to 3. So, now y equals to 3 by 5 y equals to 3 by 5 means y coordinate is 3 by 5 either third option fourth option. Now, from equation 1 from 1 y equals to 1 minus x 1 uh, sorry uh, x is equal to 1 minus y that is 3 by 5 this will be 2 by 5 2 by 5 comma 3 by 5 2 by comma 2 by 5 comma 3 by 5 is fourth option so that means x comma y is equal to 2 by 5 comma 3 by 5 this is the answer fourth option Forty eight angle subtended angle subtended by the line segment. line segment joining 2 comma 3 and 3 comma minus 2 3 comma minus 2 at origin is at origin is first option pi by 3 second option pi by 2 third option pi by 6 fourth option pi by 4 Okay, now take the coordinate axis this is x this will be x dash say y this will be y dash this is the origin. So, this 2 comma 3 lies in the first quadrant whereas 3 comma minus 2 3 comma minus 2 lies in the this second quadrant 3 comma minus 2 say this point is a this point is b you join o a you join o b the angle between these two lines you need to find out say theta theta first slope of OA find out M 1 slope of OA slope of OA is equal to this coordinates are origin 0 comma 0 
y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that will be 3 minus 0 3 2 minus 0 2. So, m2 slope of OB find out slope of OB is equal to you have actually minus 2 by 3. If you just observe the product of m1 into m2 becomes 1 itself only. So, first let us try m1 into m2 3 by 2 multiplied by minus 2 by 3 whose value is minus 1. Therefore, O A perpendicular to O B. Therefore, angle between them theta is equal to 90 degrees pi by 2. So, second option is the right option. Second option is the right option. Okay. Forty nine, forty nine, question number forty nine. Right, right, right. Three comma minus two lies in the yes, yes, yes. I need to check it. Yes, figure I need to change. It's correct, absolutely correct. What you said. Good observation. This coordinates are 0 comma 0, this is O A, this will be O B, right, this angle is theta, right, yes. So, we need to draw figure like this only, but answer is same, yes, 49th question. If the acute angle acute angle between the lines between the lines two x plus three y minus five is equal to zero and 5 x plus k y minus 6 equals to 0 is 45 degrees pi by 4 the angle between the lines is pi by 4 then we need to find out k value what is the value of k first option 1 second option 2 third option minus 1, fourth option is uh, minus 2. Okay. So, now the acute angle between the lines is pi by 4. Okay. Of these two lines is, then we need to find out k value solution let us do like this comparing these two equations with a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 is equal to 0 a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 is equal to 0 write down a 1 is 2 from the first equation b 1 equals to 3 c 1 equals to minus 5 from the second equation a 2 equals to 5 b 2 equals to k 
C 2 is not required no problem let us write it. Okay. So, we know that tan theta is given by if theta is the angle between them modulus of a 1 a 2 plus b 1 b 2 upon a 1 b 2 minus a 2 b 1. Okay, this is the formula to find out tangent of the angle between the two lines. So, acute angle means modulus we need to consider that is why tan theta is equal to here uh, tan 45 theta is given here theta is given this is theta tan 45 is equal substituting a 1 a 2 10 plus b 1 b 2 3 k by a 1 b 2 a 1 b 2 means 2 k ok a 1 b 2 2 k minus a 2 b 1 is 15 minus 15 tan 45 is 1 1 equals to 10 plus 3 k by 2 k minus 15 which is equal to plus or minus 1 you need to get it. So, let us go for next page or here only let us do it now. Uh, if you consider 1 for example, 10 plus 3 k this will be 2 k sorry 2 k 10 plus 3 k equal to 2 k minus 15 3 k minus 2 k equals to minus 25 k will be minus 25. So, if you take minus 1 now. So, if you take minus 1 now what will happen let us see now. So, if you take minus 1 what happens now here minus 2 k plus 15 equal to 10 plus 3 k. Now, 5 k is equal to 5 k is equal to 1 either k is equal to 1 or k is equal to minus 25, but k what is given here k is equal to 1 first option is the right option. foot of the perpendicular foot of the perpendicular foot of the perpendicular drawn from foot of the perpendicular drawn from 7 comma 6 on y axis is first option 0 comma 6, second option 7 comma 0, third option minus 7 comma minus 6, fourth option 6 comma 7. The foot of the perpendicular drawn from 7 comma 6 on the y axis we need to find out. So, now let us go here. See now seven comma six. Seven comma six means seven is the x intercept. So this is the seven comma six, a point. This is a point. Okay. 
So, now foot of the perpendicular drawn from a to y axis here now. So, you drop the perpendicular here. So, this is the b point. b point. Now, you check here see now this b coordinates are the foot of the perpendicular that means 0 comma 6, 0 comma 6 is the answer, 0 comma 6 is the answer. So, that means now here see rough diagram x axis x dash y y dash. For example, this point is 7 comma 6 say a point foot of the perpendicular from a, a to y axis you draw a perpendicular here. So, this will be actually what now? So, this distance is 6 it meets at b 6 comma 0. So, that means 6 comma 0 you check here 6 comma 0 6 comma 0. So, sorry sorry on y axis you check here what is the point 0 comma 6 0 comma 6. Zero comma six. So first option is the right option. First option is the right option. Who is Mr. Charan Yadav? Who is Mr. Charan Yadav? Again, it's our community rules. Okay, now, let us move to the 51, question number 51, question number 51. Okay. Image of image of 2 comma 3 with respect to with respect to origin 0 comma 0 is first option 0 comma 0, second option 2 comma 3, fourth option minus 2 comma 3, minus 2 comma minus 3 fourth option is 3 comma 2. The image of 2 comma 3 with respect to the origin we need to find out. So, image of 2 comma 3 with respect to 0 comma 0 we need to find out. So, that means now Okay, one minute wait. Okay, now what we need to find out now? Image of two comma three. Image of two comma three means 
2 comma 3 this is the 2 comma 3 point. So, this is the origin B point same distance we need to image of this will be same distance you will be getting like this now. So, minus 2 comma 3 the C coordinates. So, that means image of A with respect to origin is what C. So, for example, if you add the line segment also just add line segment. So, now add the line segment C here this is A point for example, say this is B this is C point. So, now you check here very interesting here we have C f distance distance from this a to b is 3.61 the distance from b to c is also 3.61 this is equidistant b will be the midpoint so that means actually image of a with respect to origin o is c c is nothing but minus 2 comma 3 c the c coordinates are minus 2 comma minus 3 so that means here we can say So, if you want to find out one shortcut also we can remember without geometrical interpretation shortcut also we can find out image of image of x comma y with respect to origin that is 0 comma 0 is multiply the x and y coordinates with minus sign minus x comma minus y therefore solution image of 2 comma 3 with respect to origin equals to minus 2 comma minus 3 that is all answer. So, that means fourth option, fourth option is the right. Fifty two, fifty second problem. Right, thank you. Okay. The equation of the line, the equation of the line, the equation of the line. passing through passing through 2 comma 2 and having and having intercepts Whose sum, whose sum is minus one is the equation of the line passing through two comma two and having intercepts whose sum is minus one. That means equation of the line which is passing through two comma two and sum of the intercepts a plus b is equal to minus one. That we need to find out. Okay. So, first option is x minus y plus 1 equals to 0, second option is x minus y plus 7 equals to 0, third option x minus 2 y 
plus 2 equals to 0 comma 2 x minus y minus 2 equals to 0 fourth option 2 x plus 3 y equals to 1 5 x minus 3 y equals to 12. So, you can verify the options uh, the equation of the line passing through 2 comma 2 means in the options you substitute 2 comma 2 if only one of the options will be satisfied that is the final answer that is all you need not to do anything that is all. So, or else you need to do it now. So, that means the equation of the line passing through 2 comma 2 having intercepts whose sum is minus 1 first now equation of the line in intercept form write down equation of the line equation of the line see equation of the line is x by a plus y by b equals to 1 it passes through 2 comma 2 substituting 2 by a plus 2 by b equals to 1 lcm is ab we get 2 b plus 2 a equals to 1 and one more condition is given here intercepts whose sum is minus 1 that means a plus b equals to minus 1 given this we need to remember. So, now we get actually 2 common here 2 into a plus b that is minus 1 equal to a b. So, that means a b equals to minus 2 say this is actually equation 1 say equation 2 solving 1 and 2 we get a and b values now we need to solve it. So, that means actually you can write here b is equal to minus 2 by a. So, let us go for the next page now a plus b equals to minus 1 this is one equation let me write clearly whose product becomes a b is equal to minus 2 here b equals to we can write minus 2 by a substitute here a minus minus 2 by a equals to minus 1 a square minus 2 equals to minus a a square plus a minus 2 is equal to 0 factors we have a plus 2 into a minus 1 is equal to 0 am I correct that means a is equal to minus 2 and a is equal to 1 here actually two cases will arise two cases first case is a is equal to minus 2 now b will be equals to minus 2 by 2 1 second case a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 now equations what are the equations x by a x by minus 2 y equals to 1 x by 1 minus y by 2 is equal to 1 multiply with minus 2 x minus 2 y equal to minus 2 x minus 2 y plus 2 equals to 0 it is one of the equations 2 x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0 other equation. So, you check the options you check the options I think third option is the right option third option is the right option third option fifty two. But better I think substitution is very easy for the examination. Fifty three, fifty three.
product of the product of the intercepts intercepts of a straight line of a straight line of a straight line is 1 and the line passes through the line passes through the line passes through minus 12 comma 1 then its equation is then its equation is then its equation is first option 2x plus 25 y equals to 1 second option x plus 13 y equals to 1 third option x plus 16 y equals to 4 fourth option 16 x plus y equals to 4 you can verify the options you can verify the options for example see the first option minus 24 plus 25 yes it is satisfied second one minus 12 plus 13 equal to 1 it is satisfied third option minus 12 plus 16 4 it is satisfied fourth option so it may not be so three options satisfied then we need to check the intercepts we need to find out product of the product of the intercepts must be equal to 1 out of these three options one by one intercepts you need to find out whose product must be equal to one that will be the answer so this is the way of verification otherwise i do the method don't worry first let us apply the method now okay now what is given solution here now so, let the equation be let the equation be x by a plus y by b equals to 1 and what is the condition given product of the intercepts is 1 or minus 1 1 only s yes. a b is equal to 1 that means b is equal to 1 by a reciprocal they are it passes through which point 12 comma minus 1 minus 12 by a plus 1 by b equals to 1 you can write like this also even a equals to 1 by b so now here you can write minus 12 by a plus in the place of 1 by b you can write a equals to 1 multiply with a minus 12 plus a square plus a a square minus a minus 12 is equal to 0 so let us write the factors now a square minus 4a plus 3a minus 12 is equal to 0 a common a minus 4 plus 3 common a minus 4 equal to 0. So, we get a minus 4 into a plus 3 equals to 0. So, that means we get a is equal to 4 and next another case a is equal to minus 3. So, here see what is a uh, what is b b is equal to 1 by a b will be 1 by 4 here b will be minus 1 by 3. 
substituting in the equation x by a x by 4 plus y by b 4 y equals to 1 multiply with 4 x plus 16 y is equal to 4 this is there you check it now yes and that is actually we have third option is the right option yes third option is the right option if you find this x by minus 3 plus minus 3 y equal to 1 multiply with minus 3 x plus 9 y equal to minus 3 it is not there it is also one of the solutions sometimes option may be given this one also this also may be considered Fifty four. The intercepts the intercepts made by a line on the coordinate axis. on the coordinate axis on the coordinate axis or in the ratio or in the ratio m is to n if it passes it passes through the point through the point 1 comma 0 then the equation of the line is equation of the line is first option m x minus n y equal to m n second option m x plus n y equal to m third option n x plus m y equal to n fourth option n x plus m y equal to m n okay right the intercepts made by the line on the coordinate axis are in the ratio m is to n if it is passes through the point 1 comma 0 then the equation of the line is that means intercepts made by the line on the coordinate axis are in the ratio m is to n that means a is to b is equal to m is to n given where a is the x intercept b is the y intercept and it passes through 1 comma 0 then we need to find out equation of the line okay now let us go for next page 54 solution 54 let the equation be x by a plus y by b equals to 1 
and what is given a is to be a by b is equal to m by n. So, that means substitute now here x by m plus y by n equals to 1. Say for example, k this is uh, m k and n k you say that no problem m k and n k say equation 1 it passes through it passes through 1 comma 0 substituting 1 by m k equals to 1 here m k is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 by m k equals to 1 by m you will get it ok. Uh, that means, uh, right. So, now here now we get equation x by m k is equal to 1 plus k is equal to 1 by m n by m equal to 1. You simplify this one x by 1 plus m y by n equal to 1 multiply with n you get n x plus m y is equal to n this is the equation of the line this is the equation of the line. So, that means third option. So, I will give the shortcut for this problem shortcut what is the shortcut means you remember the intercepts made by a line on the coordinate axis are in the ratio m is to n if it is passes through the point x 1 comma y 1 say x 1 comma y 1 then equation is given by n x plus m y equal to n x 1 plus m y 1. Now, put x 1 for 1 y 1 for 0 therefore, required equation is n x plus m y equals to n into 1 n plus 0 therefore, n x plus m y equal to n this is the direct answer. So, third option is the right option. So, those who are interested you can apply shortcut if you want method you go for next page. The portion the portion of a line of a line intercepted. between intercepted between the coordinate axis coordinate axis is divided by the point by the 
by the point 2 comma minus 1 in the ratio in the ratio 3 is to 2. The equation of the line is the equation of the line is first one 5 x minus y minus 20 equals to 0, second option 2 x minus y plus 7 equals to 0, third one x minus 3 y minus 5 equals to 0, fourth option 2 x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. So, that means actually you can do one thing substitute this 2 comma minus 1 in the options which will be satisfied that is the answer let us see first one 10 plus 10 plus 1 minus 20 does not equal to 0 eliminated second option 4 plus 1 plus 7 does not equal to 0 eliminated third one 2 plus 3 minus 5 equals to 0 accepted fourth one 4 minus 1 minus 4 does not equal to 0 so option is 3 option is 3 this is actual uh, the sometimes only one of the option will be satisfied we can stop per class. Oh. Month? This one show it to me. Okay. One minute. Ah, okay. So, now let us go for the method. This is the verification method. Let us go for shortcut method. So, what is the shortcut means? So, what is the shortcut? Shortcut the portion of a line intercepted between the coordinate axis is divided by the point you take this point as x 1 comma y 1 instead of this point ratio instead of this one you take it m is to n then shortcut is given by required equation is m x by x 1 plus n y by y 1 equal to m plus n or you can write like this also n x by x 1 plus m y by y 1 equal to m plus n. So, now here m is to n 3 is to 2 3 x by x 1 is 2 plus n is 2 2 y by minus 1 equals to m plus n phi. So, here 
it cannot be this answer go for this this equation now n x 1 here n means 2 x by x 1 is 2 m is 3 plus 3 y y 1 is minus 1 equals to 2 plus 3 e 5. So, 2 2 gets cancel x plus 3 x minus 3 y bring 5 this side minus 5 is equal to 0. So, that means third option is the right option. Right. Fifty sixth, the equation of the line the equation of the line passing through the passing through the passing through the point of intersection point of intersection of the lines of the lines x plus y minus phi equals to 0 and 2 x minus y plus 4 equals to 0 and having and having intercepts and having intercepts numerically equal numerically equal is first option x plus y minus phi equals to 0, 3 x minus 3 y plus 13 equals to 0. Second option x minus y minus phi equals to 0, 3 x minus 3 y plus 13 equals to 0, third option x plus y minus phi equals to 0, 3 x plus 3 y plus 13 equals to 0, fourth option x plus y plus phi equals to 0, 3 x minus 3 y minus 13 equals to 0. This is the question. Right. So, first let me read the question. The equation of the line passing through the point of intersection of the lines x plus y minus phi is equal to 0, 2 x minus y plus 4 is equal to 0, having intercepts numerically equal, but opposite in sign. That means, first we need to solve these two equations. So, first now, fifty sixth solution. 
So, what are the given equation x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 say equation 1 second equation is 2 x minus y plus 4 equals to 0. Solving 1 and 2 let us solve. So, solving 1 and 2 means actually here we write 1 cross multiplication minus 5 1 1 minus 1 4 2 minus 1 here x y 1 x upon 4 minus 5 y upon minus 10 minus 4 1 upon minus 1 minus 2. So, x by minus 1 y by minus 14 1 by minus 3. So, x comma y is equal to we get 1 by 3 comma 14 by 3 this is the point of intersection point of intersection point of intersection 1 by 3 comma 4 by 3. Okay, now, what we need to do? We have one shortcut. What is the shortcut means? Equation of the line making equal inters uh, whose intercepts are numerically equal, but opposite in sign passing through x 1 comma y 1 is given by x minus y equals to x 1 minus y 1. That means, here x 1 means 1 by 3 minus 14 by 3. This will be minus 13 by 3 cross multiplication we get 3 x minus 3 y plus 13 equals to 0. You check it one of the option must be this one 3 x minus 3 y plus 13 that means, first option is the right option. First option is also second option also correct first option second option. Now, come here. So, that means, what is the point of intersection 1 by 3 comma what is the point of intersection 1 by 3 comma 14 by 3 either first or second that means, we need to verify this one first let us verify uh, 14 plus 1 15 by 3 yes the first will be satisfied C 15 by 3 minus 5, 5 minus 5 equals to 0. That means, 1 comma 3 14 by 3 will satisfy this equation also. That is why first option is the right option. But you may have you may have a one doubt sir you have written only one equation how did we get second equation second equation means actually when you consider l1 plus lambda l2 is equal to 0 for different values of lambda you get same family of straight lines so that we are not adopting intermediate method that is very lengthy method so in this one only one equation we will find the rest of the equation we need to substitute that's all fifty seven question number fifty seven the equation of the line the equation of the line the equation of the line passing through passing through the point the point passing through the point p of 1 comma 2 
such that p bisects p bisects the point the point intercepted intercepted between the axis between the axis is first option x plus 2 y is equal to 5 second option x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0, third option x plus y minus 31 equals to 0, fourth option 2 x plus y minus 4 equals to 0. Okay. So, Bharav, right. So, we will be getting uh, before actually starting the starting of the class only we are getting that one 3 or 4 even 6 sometimes 7 I do not know even if they are not watching simply they are ignoring. So, that is the actually tendency of some of the few years right. The equation of the line passing through the point p of 1 comma 2 p bisects the point intercepted between the axis is. So, that means you can verify the options first let us verify first option 1 plus 4 equals to 5 satisfied second one 1 minus 2 plus 1 0 satisfied. So, let us go for method. First, we have the shortcut. I will tell you. I will give the shortcut to you. Shortcut. So, what is the shortcut means? The equation of the line passing through the point x1, comma y1, instead of this, you take x1, comma y1, such that the p x1, comma y1 by bisect the point intercept between the coordinate axis is equation is x by x 1 plus y by y 1 equals to 2. This is the shortcut. So, that means here solution x by x 1 means 1 plus y by y 1 means 2 equal to 2 multiply with 2 you get 2 x plus y equals to 4. 2 x plus y minus 4 equals to 0. Fourth option is the right option. Fourth option is the right option. Okay, now one minute. I will go through the chart for a while now. Okay, Narla Venkateshwar, Swati Singh, Vamshi Krishna, Srinivas Reddy, Arsha Sampat, Vamshi Krishna, wonderful. Subbarao, good idea given. Subbarao, yes, they can check playlist. Sanjay Reddy. Right, Saranya, Nandini, where is Mr. Sandeep, Neta, Bhumika, Dhruvamsh, okay. Srinu, Vamshi, oh everybody, 
so regular Sai Venkat Joseph Joseph also regular Govind also regular right yes 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 Madhurima Pragada thank you Nana thank you thank you Fifty eight, fifty eight Ashwadi Balu Pangaram Sumant Jitendra Saikiran. A variable line. x by a plus y by b equals to 1 is such that I think you might have got it now. Hello. Ah, okay. Right now, a variable line x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 is such that a plus b equals to 10. The locus, the locus of the midpoint locus of the midpoint of the portion of the portion of the line line intercepted between intercepted between the axis is first option x plus y equals to 10 Second option 10 x plus 5 y equals to 1, third x plus y equals to 5, fourth 5 x plus 10 y equals to 1. So, this is the question, right. A variable straight line x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 is such that a plus b is equal to 10. The locus of the midpoint of the portion of the line intercepted between the axis we need to find out. So, that means this is the coordinate axis. For example, line cuts x axis at a a comma 0, y axis at b 0 comma b locus of the midpoint say p that is x 1 comma y 1. 
So, here what is given actually here p x 1 comma y 1 bisects a b and passing through x 1 comma y 1 that means equation of the line we can write equation of the line bisected by x 1 comma y 1 a b is bisected by p x x 1 comma y 1 is x by x 1 plus y by y y 1 equal to 2 multiply with half you get x by 2 x 1 plus y by 2 y 1 equals to 1 you may ask one doubt why should we multiply with half to put in this form x intercept form. So, now comparing comparing with x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 here a equals to 2 x 1 b equals to 2 y 1 what is the condition of the locus given a plus b is equal to 10 that means 2 x 1 plus 2 y 1 equals to 10 divide by 2 x 1 plus y 1 is equal to 5 what is the equation of the locus x plus y is equal to 5 third option Fifty nine a stick of length L rests against a stick or you can say ladder also no problem of length L rests against the floor the floor and a wall of a room if the stick if the stick begins begins to slide on the floor to slide on the floor then the locus of locus of its middle point is its middle point is its middle point is first option 3 x square plus 3 y square equal to L square second option 4 x square plus 4 y square equal to L square third option 2 x square plus 2 y square equal to L square fourth option x square plus y square is equal to L square. Okay. A stick of length L rests again is the floor, floor means x axis wall y axis. If the stick begins to slide on the floor, the locus of the middle point we need to find out. So, that means now 59 solution.
for example, this is the wall, this is the floor. this is origin x axis x dash y and y dash a stick is moving like this it is moving the floor sometimes it may come down like this go up come down like this it is moving this is fixed length a b this will be length is how much given l this uh, right angle you say this point is middle point say p x 1 comma y 1 the locus of p x 1 comma y 1 you need to find out for example if p is the midpoint of x 1 comma y 1 then equation of a b you can find out equation of a b is equation of a b is shortcut x by x 1 plus y by y 1 equal to 2 multiply with 1 by 2 x by 2 x 1 plus y by 2 y 1 equals to 1 this is in the form of x by a plus y by b equals to 1 x by x intercept y by y intercept that means this is the x intercept this is the y intercept that means O A equals to 2 x 1, O B equals to 2 y 1, whereas A B is equal to L. This is a right angle triangle, this triangle is right angle triangle, rat right angle triangle, Pythagoras theorem apply. So, O A square plus O B square is equal to A B square. So, 4 x 1 square plus 4 y 1 square equal to L square. So, therefore, locus of P is in the place of x 1 x in the place of y 1 y 4 x square plus 4 y square equal to L square. What is the answer? what is the answer second option am i correct second option Problem number 60, problem number 60, A B is a variable line sliding between the coordinate axis coordinate axis in such a way that in such a way that A lies on x axis, A lies on x axis and B lies on y axis
if p is a variable point moving point variable point that is x 1 comma y 1 also we can say on a b such that such that p a is equal to p b p a is equal to b sorry p b is equal to a and length of a b is equal to a plus b that means p a plus b b equal to then equation of the locus of p first option x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 second option x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 third option x square plus y square is equal to a square plus b square fourth option x square minus y square is equal to a square minus b square the problem is total screen now read the question you take two or three minutes A B is a variable line sliding between the coordinate axis in such a way that A should lie on the x axis, B should lie on y axis. If P is a variable point on A B, length of P A is equal to B, length of P B is equal to A and length of A B that is constant A plus B itself only. Then equation of the locus of P you need to find out. So, that means first of all you see solution so now coordinate axis say this is a this is b this is p p a is given a p b is b So, now p coordinates say x 1 comma y 1 the total length will be a plus b itself only say this is o. First equation of the line a b we need to find out which divides in the ratio a is to b that means equation of the line is actually you can write like this m x by x 1 plus n y by y 1 equals to we can write m plus n. So, now here a a x by x 1 plus here b y 1 by sorry b y by y 1 equals to a plus b you can write because this is a this is b this is m this is n. Now, what we can write now x by a x 1 by plus y by sorry x 1 by a y 1 by b equals to a plus b you can write. Mm. 
Okay, okay. Wait, wait now. One minute. This P A is equal to how much given? P A is equal to B. Sorry, this is B. This will be A. Okay. Say this is M, this is N. So, we get like this now. M is equal to how much B? B x by x 1 plus A y by y 1 equal to M plus N multiply it x 1 y 1. So, we get b x y 1 plus a y y 1 a y x 1 this is m plus n x 1 y 1 divide by this one again now. What do you get now? This will be a plus b put y is equal to 0. If you put y is equal to 0, this becomes 0. Now, b x y 1 equals to it becomes very typical. I do very easy method, you leave it all these things. I do very easy method, do not worry becomes very lengthy. Okay. Here let us say A equals to p comma 0 and b equals to 0 comma q. Now, this p divides p x 1 comma y 1 divides divides a b in the ratio in the ratio p a is to p b that is b is to j. So, now let us find out x 1 comma y 1 see this coordinates are p comma 0 this is 0 comma q b is to a means reverse it ratio a this what are the actually here x 1 coordinate and y 1 value see here x 1 is equal to sum of these two a p by here y 1 equals to b q by a plus b a plus b now equals to a plus b of y 1 by b p is the x intercept q is the y intercept that means this is p this is q this is a right angle triangle we can write now now p square p square means a plus b by x 1 so this we can write a plus b whole square x 1 square by what do you write what do you write a square this will be a square plus this will be a plus b whole square y 1 square by b square equal to a plus b whole square. Now, this will be y 1 square a plus b whole square a plus b whole square a plus b whole square cancel. Therefore, x 1 square by a square plus y 1 square by b square equals to 1. Therefore, plus y square by b square is equal to 1 which is the ellipse which is the ellipse. Mr. Neta Sandeep just you joined I know 
this one here answer is 1. So, what is the shortcut means I will rub out this one only I keep one option. So, what is the shortcut means already shortcut we have studied that shortcut is for example, the intercept between the coordinate axis is actually divides by the point in the ratio uh, m is to n we have the shortcut actually m x by x 1 plus n y by s n whole square this shortcut we have here actually uh, so with the help of that easily we can find out. Sixty-one. The line two x plus three y is equal to six. Two x plus three y is equal to eight. Cut the x-axis. at a comma b respectively respectively a line l is drawn is drawn through the point Throw the point two comma two meets the x axis, the x axis, the x axis. In such a opposite that means x coordinates of c say of of c say of of c say of a b c are in arithmetic progression then equation of the line of the line L is first option 2 x plus 3 y is equal to 10 second option second option 3 x plus 2 y equals to 10 third option 2 x minus 3 y is equal to 10 fourth option 3 x minus 2 y is equal to 10 Right. The line x two x plus three y is equal to six, two x plus three y is equal to eight, cut the x axis A B respectively. A line L is drawn through the point two comma two meets the x axis at C in such a way that opposite say of A b c are in arithmetic progression then equation of the line l is so 
the line 2x plus 3y is equal to 6, 2x plus 3y is equal to 8, cut the x axis at a comma b respectively. A line L is drawn through the point 2 comma 2 meets the x axis at c in such a way that offices of a comma b comma c are in arithmetic progression. Then equation of the line L is. If, if you observe these two equations, these two equations are parallel even the L should be parallel to this one. That means, here that must be in the form of 2 x plus 3 y is equal to something. That means, either the first option is the correct option. That means, you check it here 6 8. Here 6 8 for example, arithmetic progression 6 plus 2 is 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Now, next term will be plus 2, you get 10, that means 2 x plus 3 y is equal to 10. So, first option is the right option. Opsis A means x coordinates, here easy technique. So, whatever the question may be like this, if opsis A or A, B, C or A, P, for example, you check 6 is the first term of A, P, second term. So, first term means A is equal to 6, here second term common difference D is equal to 2, next third term A 3 is equal to you need to find out A plus 2 D. So, A is 6 plus 4, 10. So, this should be 10 and parallel to these two lines 2 x plus 3 y is equal to 10, this is the right option. So, thank you one and all, see you, bye bye.